it's Kate from Wild Tales Of, where we share about family travel and outdoor adventure. And if you haven't been following along, we have been exploring the Oregon coast this week, and you can head back and watch several videos to catch up on our adventure. Today we're in Tillamook, Oregon, and one of the first things on the list is to explore the, the Tillamook Air Museum. We used the Air Museum scavenger hunt to guide our visit. Bergen took the lead, writing down all the answers, and we worked on the hunt as a family. It wasn't easy, but it allowed us to learn a lot more than we otherwise would have, and structured our visit well. We will be having a flyover in about 10 minutes. If you would make your way to the parking lot, you'll be able to see it. Did you know Taylor Swift featured featured in Actually, Taylor Swift's music video Wildest Dreams? You heard it here, folks. Yep. You did a good job. Good job. Okay, well, that was a good experience. Tell us about what the Tillamook Air Museum was before it became the Tillamook Air Museum. Blimp okay. storage in World War II. So that's where they stored blimps. Why do they, they need blimps? Mostly it was to find uh, submarines in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, what was your favorite part? Or tell us something that you learned from the Tillamook Air Museum. You liked the models of the different battles, the different structures. That was a neat way to learn about the history. Georgia, what was your favorite part? I liked going in the airplane. Nice. I liked getting to go in there too. What was your favorite? The pickle one. The but guppy? I also liked the little one guppy. where we got to see the bathroom. Yeah, that was a little guppy. The TWA, right? no. Oh, you, the TWA one. Yeah, that was cool too. They're bigger. Slade? I learned a couple of things. I learned, I got to see the airplane that John Denver was flying when he died in Santa Barbara and why he actually crashed. It was partly his fault and partly the airplane's fault. And also, I really liked the Anderson Air Raid shelter. Are we all gonna fit in here, guys? This is our family shelter. We have to sleep in here for like days. We all in here? Yeah? Not yet. Wait till the, uh, here we, we go. Wait till the air raid's over. Right oh my. He's wearing a book. tight. He's re you'd sleep there, I'd sleep down here. George will sleep there. This will work. This will work. Very big. What do you think? Wouldn't have a TV. You'd have your lunchbox. Luckily, we're not in there during lockdown. <laughs> so my favorite part was getting to connect some family history with the kids. So both Slade and I have a grandpa, not the same grandpa, <laughs> that they were in the Navy. And so it was neat to get to talk about my grandpa in particular built aircraft carriers. So we were able to point out what he did when he was younger. He's passed now. And the other thing is he actually lived in New Jersey where the Hindenburg blimp crashed and was able to collect pieces of it. And my dad still has one of those pieces. So that was another neat thing to be able to point out to the kids. Okay, our next field trip stop is another important piece of Tillamook and that's the Tillamook Cheese Factory. Well, the good news is, is we got an amazing lunch from Tillamook Creamery. The bad news is, what? We're eating in the car. That's not, it's not ideal.
Crab pot. Crab pot. Cricket. Chicken. You guys know what that means? And that means we're going crabbing. <laughs> Bobber and a hook Wait. on there. Here we go. Hurry before the seagulls get it. Stay away. Get out of here. So we brought this little fishing kit that we got from one of Bergen's Think Outside boxes. I'll link the video. We did we did Think Outside box videos for I think it was a full year. So they're it's pretty cool. Anyway, we just have line and a bobber and a hook and a little piece of chicken. I'm gonna see if we can catch a fish. This guy is stalking our fishing line. Or this girl, I think it's a girl. Get out of here. Meanwhile. You guys, look. Meanwhile. Man, look what's happening. Uh, okay, round two. Oh, watch out, watch out! You're not getting that. Woo! <laughs> um, what? What? That was. Well, it's not a fishing pole, okay? <laughs> this was a silly idea. <laughs> He's a mean little dude, huh? That small. <laughs> he's really small. He's probably mad at you for saying oh, that. Boy. That's why he's acting like that. Interrupt to his dinner. Ready? Whee! Be free, Krabby. Okay. Doing one last check before we call it a night. <laughs> oh, there is a crab in there. There is one? There is a crab. Now it's not big enough. we've got to measure it. It's not big enough. <laughs> Hey dude. Hey, hey dude. We did it. Hey dude. Ah. We did catch a crab. Holy cow. Look at you, Dad. Is it a girl or a boy, first of all? It's a boy. It's a girl. Oh, it's a girl, so we can't even keep her anyway. Well, let's measure her anyway. See, not even close. It's actually from the back. It's lost a claw, too. Oh, poor lady. Backwards. Put it backwards. Be free, lady. Okay, guys, we're gonna call it a night. We caught a crab, however, it was a female crab and also not big enough. This was our first time as a family crabbing, so I say we did pretty well. And people aren't catching a lot right now, anyway. Oh, there's a seal right there. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? Right there. Swimming along. 
Thanks for joining us on our Tillamook adventure today. We hope you're staying happy and healthy and we hope you are getting out and having some brave wild adventures and fish.